Hi everyone, this is card says we will now begin the reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for the New Moon this October 2022. Cross watchers are also welcome here. Do check our playlist for the other zodiac signs that interest you. I put them in the description box or in the pinned comment section. Now let's see what issues are resurfacing for you and the advice from your higher self. Now Aries, issues that are surfacing for you is with regards to family and your overall happiness. Now in this new moon, things that are related to your relationships with uh, you know, close relationships with family and friends are resurfacing. It's like you are generally happy right now with this Ten of Cups energy, but Spirit is saying you want this happiness to be experienced in full. You want to experience this fully, Aries. Now, your higher self is advising you with the lover's card reverse. This is basically telling us that do not limit yourself. That's the message I'm getting. Because with the lover's, lover's upright, you are being given two options. And it's like there's an ultimatum of, of sort. So for me, the six, uh, this this number six, this lovers card reversed. This is basically saying that do not limit yourself on how you view happiness. It's like happiness can be found in different aspects of life, and you just have to see it through that. It's like do not limit your happiness depending on how you used to see it or like your your vision on how you see happiness because with the ten of cups there is no limit for the happiness that you can have there is no limit for the happiness that you can feel and this also talks about the abundance the spirit is giving me that message of abundance do not limit yourself with a certain notion that this is the only way that I could be prosperous. This is the only way that I could be abundant. Allow yourself to be limitless when it comes to the way that the universe is presenting you abundance and happiness. So these things are going to come up for you this new moon, this October 2022. So just allow yourself to be free allow the universe to deliver to you the how like you know it's like express to the universe what happiness is for you what abundance is for you but allow the universe to demonstrate how you are going to receive this happiness how you are going to receive this abundance do not limit yourself that's what basically the message here so next we will try to see your current energy this full moon or rather new moon new, this new moon october 2022 let's see your current state of energy seven of wands reversed let's see what your higher self is ad advising you with this energy with this situation so with the seven of wands reversed Aries, um there is an unguarded energy. That's that's the message that I'm getting. An unguarded energy. And yeah, with the judgment reversed, it's like you are loosening up. It's good to loosen up. You know, in this life, it's good to loosen up because it allows 
it allows us to have fun but this new moon this is telling us that you are loosening up on aspects of life that you shouldn't be you know it's like you're letting yourself go in directions that is not actually helpful for you and the advice that the judgment reverse is showing us is that there is a call that you need to heed right now you know judgment is the the rider weight version of this card is showing us an angel having a trumpet and it's calling forth the the deceased and it's basically telling us that you need to heed the call of whatever it is it's calling in internally it's like you are answering to the things that are external you are responding you are reacting to things that are that are external when in fact you have to listen to your inner voice it's like you are reacting or serving people and situations outside of you to the detriment of what it is that is authentic to you deep inside so that's basically the message here yeah it's all right to interact with other people but not at the expense of being inauthentic and that's a message for some of you perhaps not all of you here so that's, that's basically what this is saying allow yourself to interact with people allow yourself to be in situations wherein you can let your hair down wherein you can let yourself go and be free but allow yourself to do this in ways, in means and with people that makes you feel safe to do these things that makes you feel safe to be yourself and don't don't just say yes because of peer pressure it's also a message for some of you here okay now that was some heavy energy for you in human reading now let's move on to the blessings that you can look forward to this new moon okay there is a blessing here for you for sure aries now let's take a look at what it is you have the wheel reversed this is the wheel of fortune reversed and the advice from spirit yeah the blessing for you is that this will look bad on paper okay this only looks bad on paper uh, let me tell you that with the wheel reverse things will not go your way but with the page of pentacles this is allowing you to do internal work because the wheel of the wheel here as you can see the wheel is outside of her okay the wheel is outside of her but here in the page of pentacles the wheel is within herself you know it's like telling control the things that you can control and there are things that you cannot control and just leave them be you know the usual interpretation of the wheel of fortune reversed is putting in the effort so that things will move to your favor but the in this new moon the work that you need to do in order to move the needle or in in order to move the wheel to your direction is to do internal work this is what you would want to do right now aries like um yes there may be chaos going on around you but you can fix it by fixing yourself internally first you know getting grounded and the page of pentacles is about learning so learn something new and then put it into work like if you learn something new 
and it doesn't have to be the end all be all allow allow yourself for some trial and error this time aries so yeah the gift for you is that you will learn that even if things don't go your way you are still you are still accountable and you have that ability to be accountable within yourself you have that power within yourself to accept the things that you can and cannot control and for the things that you can control you you take accountability for it you, you take rep- responsibility for it and that's really good for you Aries and for the things that you cannot control you just leave them be and I'm also getting this message that you are leaving it up to God or the universe or the powers might be or whatever um, belief that you adhere to okay Aries now for the last part of our reading we have a yes or no reading via the astro dice now you can think of your question answerable by yes or no and we will clarify it using this tarot the page of swords came out so we will see how this will fare in your reading okay but we will still see um some clarification if we need it okay now if you have your question you may ask it now and we'll see what do you have for you you have a yes so to whatever it is that you're inquiring you're getting the energy of venus with a yes now for some of you you are getting a yes even if things are not exactly clear to you you are moving to a direction even if you don't have all the information but let's try and see what other clarifications we have here yeah the tower yeah it's like take baby steps towards the direction of what it is that you want in life or what it is you want to achieve or whatever it is that you are thinking about with this question because you will have to initiate the change that's what i'm getting because if you will not initiate the change change will happen to you but of course you want control you want power over life situations that's why you will have to initiate the change and you can very much do that aries for sure and that's the message that has been channeled for you aries i do hope this reading provided you with some clarity as you go along with healing and your soul's journey consider tapping like and subscribe to help the channel feel free to check the description box for more info keep safe see you on our next video thank you for watching this is card says